Nintendo Company, Limited develops, produces, and sells home entertainment devices along with its subsidiaries in Japan, the Americas, Europe, and other countries around the world. Along with hardware devices for handheld and home console gaming, it also sells playing cards, Karuda, and other goods. Before changing its name to Nintendo Company, Limited in 1963, the business was known as Nintendo Playing Card Company, Limited. The headquarters of Nintendo Company, Limited are in Kyoto, Japan, where it was established in 1889. Lights were recently shed on Nintendo as a joint venture between Nintendo and the mobile game developer Dana dubbed Nintendo Systems will work to advance the digitization of Nintendo's operations. The cooperation between Nintendo and Dana, which started in 2015, is expanded upon through the joint venture. Since then, the two have collaborated on a few games, including Super Mario Run, Fire Emblem Heroes, Animal Crossing, Pocket Camp, Mario Kart Tour, Mitomo, and Pokemon Masters. Nintendo released the information along with its most recent financial results. According to the business, the joint venture company will become a specified subsidiary of Nintendo because its capitalization exceeds 10% of Nintendo's. The new business will launch in April 2023 and have its headquarters in Tokyo. Tetsuya Sasaki, a former Nintendo executive, will lead the new business. According to Nintendo, The goal of the joint venture company is to concentrate on research and development to improve the business digitization and produce value added services to further deepen Nintendo's relationship with customers. Nintendo and Dana have made great progress in the mobile game industry. According to data from Sensor Tower, Fire Emblem Heroes, one of the six games the two companies have created jointly, has been the most profitable. In June, it surpassed $1 billion in global player expenditure. Nintendo's first mobile game to achieve $1 billion in sales was Fire Emblem Heroes as a consequence. The report also reveals that Animal Crossing earned $287.6 million while Mario Kart Tour earned $293 million. Let's now see some juicy data about the stock. Stock prices of today $41. Dividend yield 5%. The dividend has been paid for 21 years, which is a nice record so far. Dividend growth per year. Can you guess? I'll give you three seconds. One, two, three. It's a whopping 36% per year in the last five years. Okay. You might say, well, five years is not a long period of time. Well, I tell you, still, the dividend growth rate during the last 20 years was a 14% per year. If we combine this rate with the present dividend yield, it will give a dividend yield on cost of 18% after 10 years. This is in case we are pessimistic. If we take a more realistic approach and consider a higher number, which has already been done by Nintendo Company, we reach a dividend yield of 46% in 10 years. If we take an optimistic approach, which is still very possible to occur, the dividend yield of Nintendo Company will be above 100% in 10 years. That means that if you invest $1,000 in the stock today and do absolutely nothing except reinvesting the dividends, you would get $1,000 of dividends in 10 years. How better could it be? Maybe revealing the JP Morgan expectation for the stock price. Indeed, the bank estimates a 21% upside potential for the stock. Nintendo has recently reported a 34% increase in earnings in the first half of the fiscal year due to high sales of products for its Switch device, including the paint shooting game Splatoon 3. The creator of the Pokemon and Super Mario video games was inspired by this to increase its profit expectation for the April to March fiscal year from an earlier projection for a 340 billion yen. $2.3 billion, profit to 400 billion yen, $2.7 billion. Even the more optimistic prediction, at 477.7 billion yen, is less than what Nintendo made in the most recent fiscal year. If we make a closer look at Nintendo's first competitor, Sony, we find that this company has a pretty nice record of dividend payments too. The dividend safety of Sony is even far better than Nintendo. With a small present day yield, The stock offers a stunning dividend growth of 27% per year, which is outstanding. The market for video games is enormous. In actuality, it has surpassed both the music and film industries in size, and it is still expanding. There are more than 2 billion gamers in the world, despite the fact that it doesn't receive the same media exposure as the film and music industries. That is 26% of all people on the planet. It is not surprising that businesses desire a piece of the action. The gaming sector produced $155 billion in revenue in 2020. Analysts forecast that the sector would earn more than $260 billion in sales by 2025. As a result, tech firms are attempting to tap into this source of income. Tech giants, including Google, Apple, 
and Meta previously Facebook, have all announced plans to enter the market. The stock has plenty of potential ahead. Remember to do your own due diligence before investing. I am not a financial advisor. And please push the like button to help grow the channel. I would really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to get notified every time I post a new video. I'll see you next time.